In this problem, it states that 30% of the students in Mr. Rucker's class like black licorice. We have to figure out how many people are in his class if six students like black licorice. One way to set up any percentage problem is by setting up a ratio table. And the two units being compared as our ratio will be the part as compared to the whole. The percentage given is 30, and that is going to be our part. And right next to that in the whole column, we write 100, because a percentage is always out of 100. The next thing we have to do is figure out where is the number 6 going to go in our ratio table. Well, it says that 6 students like black licorice, and we know that not everybody in this class likes black licorice because only 30% of the students like it. Therefore, the 6 students who like black licorice must represent part of the class, so we must write 6 in the part column. The next thing that we have to do is figure out what goes directly next to the number 6. So 6 compared to that whole is equal to 30 compared to 100. What we can do is look at the part column and see by what factor does 6 increase in order to make 30. We would have to increase 6 by a factor of 5. And we have to multiply by the same factor on the opposite side of our table. So whatever goes in that blank must also be increased by a factor of 5. And 20 is the only number that we may multiply by 5 to come up with a product of 100. So now we know that 6 out of 20 students like black licorice in Mr. Rutgers' class. 6 represents part of the class, and 20 represents the total number of students in the class.